YouTube, what it do? It's your boy, The Fader. Back at y'all again with yet another video, man. Now look, today I'ma show y'all how to do a clean ball fade, okay? This is one of the cleanest ball fades you're gonna ever see in real time okay so now as you can see we done combed the hair now we taking the hair down the first notch okay so that we can actually examine the landscape and the canvas that we about to create art with you feel what i'm saying so i have my one guard and i'm looking at the lever right now it's probably about halfway closed and we just going with the grain and we just taking the hair down so that we can see all of the imperfections in the hair and we don't really cut it too low and we don't really take too much off because in reality we want it to be as even as possible now we're going to make the initial line for the fade in the hair and when it comes to that that's what we do when we use no guard okay so we're gonna use no guard and we're gonna take the hair about halfway through the head okay at the halfway point you know what i'm saying so this is more of a mid fade low key it's a high fade i'm not gonna lie low key it's like a mid fade if you will you know it could be considered a high fade whatever you want to call it it's a fade and it's not a low fade it's either a mid fade or a high fade where it's starting at right now i say mm, it's more of a mid high fade you know it's just it's a fade you feel me so when you want to decipher what the fade is it really depends on the person's head shape honestly because a mid fade can start at different points of the head depending on you know whatever shape of head they have you know what i'm saying so that's just what it is so in this case you know we just gonna give a nice ball fade and we're gonna you know execute the fade based on the canvas you know what i'm saying based on the canvas that we have so i can actually say it's a high fade you know what i'm saying anyway now we're gonna go in and we're gonna use the trimmers to take away the rest of the hair and you know get it very nice and neat and clean so that we don't have to do that at the end that's just what i prefer doing because in my opinion and to me in my process it saves a lot of time throughout the haircut you know what i'm saying and it helps you focus on the detail work that's needed after you actually do the fade okay so now we're gonna go in with the zero and then we're gonna take the hair up about uh, what's that about a half inch maybe 0.75 i don't think it's a full inch don't look like it to me could be though it just is relative to the canvas that you're actually fading so yeah when people tell you like go up a half inch or go up an inch um i don't really know how accurate that is because i'm not actually using a a ruler to measure what i do while i'm conducting a haircut you know what i'm saying i just go based off of the canvas and how the haircut will look on a person's actual head you know what i'm saying because if you try to be robotic with your process then you're gonna really limit yourself to the possibilities of what you can do to make the haircut look as best as possible given what you have to work with you know what i'm saying so that's why i don't really be too specific with the numbers i just say do what you do in regards to the canvas that is in your chair now we're taking it up with the one and we're gonna do the same thing you know you don't have to be too precise with everything that you do all you have to do is just make sure well you have to be precise i'm talking about with the numbers and going up half inch and inch and all that you just have to make sure that everything is neat and clean so in that case you will be precise i'm just saying you don't gotta pull out a a ruler and measure half inch or an inch or 0.75 like i mean come on now it's serious it's just like in reality you don't really have to go and do the most like that because you just don't you know what i'm saying as long as you make the haircut look nice and neat and it's very clean then and precise you're good so now you know we have the one i believe that's still the one i believe and i'm combing i'm using my comb 
and you know you have to comb the hair if you want to use a brush you can use a brush too you just have to make sure that the hair is uniform so you know what you're cutting so that's why now moving on that's why i was cutting the hair how it was at first because now after you do the fade you want to fade down you want to go with the grain again so that you know you actually can see where you might need to go back in and fade around and do your cleanup work that's why you don't really cut all the way into the hair you want to just like layer it when you cut you don't really want to just go straight in like that you know what i'm saying um you want to just really get the feel of the haircut so that you don't miss any steps or plug anything in the in, in the hair and then it, it turns out to not be what you want so now after i did that and actually went with the grain now i'm going to go back and fade and clean up those areas that i saw now that everything is nice and neat and uniform but it just train your eyes better you see i'm on the right side of the head again and i'm just really perfecting the fade in the haircut you know with the comb and recently even in this video i'm using a comb recently i've been noticing that like i like the brush when it comes to coarse hair I like the brush more because you know it just makes the hair lay down that much better i use the comb with more straight hair now and and before i was using the comb with every haircut now i just use the brush more with the coarse hair and then i use the comb with straight hair so that's another little you know golden nugget for y'all brushing coarse hair is way better than combing straight i mean coarse hair and combing straight hair is better than brushing straight hair you know what i'm saying it seems like common sense it just you know that way is what it is now you see me combing the hairline and that's what i will say the comb comes in handy when you comb the hairline especially for a haircut like this when you low-key are going to keep perfecting and going over the hairline the comb i think is way better than the brush on the hairline so you might just want to incorporate both utensils in your arsenal just to have the haircut perfected to your liking and the client's liking and stuff like that. So now you see me going in with the initial, you know, line for the edge up or hairline, whatever you want to call it. You know, this is kind of like the rough draft, I would say, because you're just cutting the hair and you're not digging into the natural line you want to pull the hairline to the front of the forehead as much as possible you don't want to push anybody back that's why i go over their hairline so many times because you want to get the hairline in the most natural form you don't want to just dig into the hairline and make people hairline recede prematurely and when they come back to your chair it's trying to grow back and you keep digging into the hairline this is why i show y'all the right way to do the hairlines in my videos because this part right here is actually the most important part of a haircut especially on coarse hair any hair really i'm just saying especially on haircuts like this where just people expect greatness when it comes to a haircut and this is the part of a haircut that solidifies you being a great barber and it differentiates a great barber from just an average barber because most barbers will probably cut the hair at the, after this and then they'll just put paint on the hair you know what I'm saying and they don't take the time and do the necessary steps for the hairline to be really natural as you can see i'm showing y'all every angle i'm even going to put the c cups in the hairline just like i'm doing right now just to show y'all like it it's a process of a great haircut it just doesn't just happen in a few minutes you know what i'm saying it takes for me it took a long time to perfect how to do a haircut how to do the hairline and it's still little tips and tricks that i'm learning to this day so i'm just telling y'all that don't i'm telling y'all too not rush the process when you start to rush the process the clients know your work it lacks in efficiency and you're just cheating yourself so i know that the barber industry has become very popular and maybe a lot of people want to be barbers well not maybe i know a lot of people want to be barbers right now so just recognize 
that you're in charge of somebody's look. So just take pride in doing that and always do your best. Now you see me cutting the hair down again because now I just did the rough draft of the hairline. So now I can cut the hair down and make it more uniform and actually cause the top of the hair to blend in with the hair that's no hair below the occipital and above the occipital so that it all is uniform and everything flows okay so that's why i do it how i do it i don't just go straight in and just do it and just do that because you never know what hair you might be cutting off and every strand of hair in the haircut matters so that's why i just take my time with the haircut because i know how important it is to you know not throw away any part of a haircut because you never know one wrong move with the clippers could change the whole haircut you know what i'm saying so that's why i'm always just being precise and going over the haircut with the precision that i do and you know what i'm saying this is a perfect client to show this hair i cut this this guy's hair plenty of times one of my great clients a good friend i would say you know what i'm saying so this is my first time actually getting him on camera. I'm glad I did. I mean, he waited a few weeks to get a cut, so I knew this is the perfect time to show y'all how I really do it. Now you see me combing the hair, and you know I'm combing the hair again because you just want to always be short and always be precise, and you just want to stay neat and know what you're cutting and put the hair where it's supposed to go. So now you see I'm going over the hairline once again because I just took something off the top. Now you see the fade is extra crispy, super blurry, and now everything's uniform. So now we can start to give them the real hairline. So this is a FYI. And this is for barbers and for the clients in the chair. And for the mamas, you know what I'm saying? Whoever bring the prequel to get the haircut. If your hairline doesn't last you about at least a week and a half to two weeks i'm not gonna lie to you you have a bad barber if you have to really go to your barber every few days and your hairline ain't you know staying there and you don't look like you have a haircut after a few days you need to find a new barber you know what i'm saying you need to come really sit in my chair you know Follow me on Instagram at The Fader. Go to my website, www.thefader.com. That's www.thafader.com. And make your appointment and come see me. Because if you want your hairline to be as natural as it is, and you want me to help you grow your hair back and get healthy hair, you need to come see me. And you need to find you a barber that treats you the right way and just doesn't look at you for money because your haircut should last you more than just a few days if you paying 40 50 60 and more for your haircut you need to be having your haircut last you at least a week and a half to two weeks so that's why i'm so precise because even though i do love cutting hair and you know i love getting money off cutting hair i also love giving people a great service that they don't mind spending their money on you know what i'm saying they don't feel cheated and as you can see with all the haircuts i have on youtube thus far and even the ones i'm going to upload in the future you see that i take pride in my work i take pride in what i do and i love helping other people look feel and be successful you know what i'm saying and just feel good about themselves so if your barber's not providing that for you then you definitely need to go find you one you can all you know you can always book an appointment with me like i said go to my website www.thafader.com and book your appointments today okay so now back to the haircut again i'm just going over and being precise now this is what you call detail work the detail work is the most important part of a haircut because I told you the methods. I told you really what to do to even start the haircut off. Now we're focused on the details and this is very important. That's why I'm combing. That's why you see me going over the hair again. That's why you see me just, you know, going over my steps and doing everything more than once, sometimes even more than twice because you have to be very precise. So now you see me freehanding the hairline and just cutting off the extra hairs and just making the cut very clean and precise and neat because real talk, 
this is where the haircut is. You know what I'm saying? This is pretty much the end of the haircut. You see me going crazy with the with the cleanliness. You see the client is loving it. You see where he started from and where he's at right now. So you feel me? All the stuff I'm telling you is just to help you. And I hope there's people out there that's really listening, taking heed to what I say because it's my duty to help those who are coming up because when I was coming up, a lot of great barbers helped me out. And this is me just showing my appreciation to the game, giving back, and you know, showing you what a lot of dedication can get you to the game because I started off from not knowing how to cut no type of hair. I only went to the barber shop every pretty much every week, every two weeks. At sometimes, you know, I grew up in the barber shop, so I started school not knowing how to cut hair, and now look at me now. You know what I'm saying? It's been about seven years, and you know, I'm a great barber. You know what I'm saying? I'm the best barber. So, like I said, come see me. www.thafader.com. Book your appointments today, and I'll get you fresh. Okay? And you see me as I've been talking, because y'all know I talk a lot. I'm still going over this hairline. It's very important. My barber used to do the same thing to me. And I ain't going to lie. I used to love the fact that my barber took that much time with my hairline because that's the most important part of the haircut. That's how you're going to get your bread and butter for your up and coming barbers, the hairline. Even when your fade ain't even all that tight yet, if that hairline is crispy, your clients ain't gonna care because you didn't push them back. You got them hairline straight and they fresh. And eventually your face is gonna get up there. You have to perfect that hairline and you do that with the combing. You do that with the precision. You do that with everything else I told you, just taking your time, you know what I'm saying? So this has been another haircut and I'm the fader. I'll see y'all later. Pow!